Annette Plesnik is suing her former friend, Cassandra Lipsy, for the return or value of a puppy, hotel fees, and boarding fees. Order. All rise. It's case number 10 on the calendar, the matter Plenzik versus Lipsy. Thank you, Bert. You're welcome, Judge. Party's been sworn in. You may be seated. Folks, have a seat, please. Let me understand this, Ms. Plesnik. You needed a place to live, and Ms. Lipsy was a friend of yours. She allowed you to move into her apartment. Correct. For free. No. I paid her rent. You paid me. I paid less. her. If you Sorry. interrupt her, you're gone. Okay. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Initially, I paid her $100 a month. Initially, I asked her two times to Listen have it to writing. Me. Listen to me carefully. You lived there with her for free. If you say you paid her $100 a month, that's like living there for free. I was only there four days pay... a week. Listen to me. I wasn't living there Listen all day. I was staying I... in her daughter's Listen room. Listen to me. I don't care. You needed a place. You were living at her place. You came and you brought your dog. She had a dog. How old was your dog when you brought the dog Six there? months old. And how old was your dog? Um, five years old. And the two of you idiots did not have your dog neutered Correct. or spayed. So Correct. you brought a six-month-old male puppy into a house with a five-year-old unspayed female dog. Correct. It was never Why, I'm, I'm not talking to you. This is not a question. This is a statement. And. What happened was, according to what I read in these papers, the two dogs got together. Mm -hmm. You didn't plan on them getting together. She didn't plan on them getting together. They got together, and there was a litter of puppies, mixed breed puppies, because mm -hmm. your dogs are not of the same breed. You okay. have a... A husky. And you have a... A pit bull. So now we have a litter of mongrel puppies, mm -hmm. and unexpectedly, and they are born on what date? January 20th. January 20th. And the two of you, I don't know what the preliminary discussions were. Were you happy to be parents? Were you not happy to be parents or grandparents? I don't care. The case is about this. You think she owes you for a puppy because she either sold or gave away all the puppies, and according to you, you had an agreement that you could keep one of the puppies. You had no agreement for a stud fee, don't shake your head, it's annoying. Sorry. You <laughs> had no agreement for a stud fee because you didn't intend to have a litter of puppies. So at best, what you're alleging is she told you sometimes after this marriage was consummated that you could have a puppy. And then she said you couldn't have a puppy and you want the value of this mixed breed puppy. Okay, that's part of it. And then you say you had an argument and she kicked you out of the house, and so you want her to pay your hotel bill and boarding fees, I assume boarding fees because you had to put your dog in some sort of a kennel until you found a place to live. Well, my apartment she, was ready within two days. She's not your mother. She's not somebody who's responsible for you. You're a big girl. If you had a fight with somebody who let you live with her for nothing because she liked you and you had a fight with her and she told you to leave, that's what you have to do. So the only issue that I'm entertaining on your part is the question of whether or not she owes you a puppy or the value thereof. Now, now I've laid out the case because I didn't want to have to hear it from both of you. So tell me, on what date did you make this contract for the puppy? It wasn't a contract. It was verbal. Oh, that's it was easy. verbal. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. If it wasn't a contract, exactly. I don't Why have she just give, a she second. If it wasn't a contract, I don't have to hear you, <laughs> which is perfect, because I have 10 other cases well, to do today. Well, then why does she get to keep all the puppies, though? Why? 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 Yeah. I don't know. Why is a crooked letter? That's what my mother used to say. <laughs> I would say, why? And she would say, why is a crooked letter? Listen, let me tell you what I do. I'm a judge. I rule on questions of negligence. I rule on questions of contract. I rule on questions of custody, when I sat in family court, visitation, child abuse, neglect. Not why should she get to keep all the puppies. That's not what I do. If you want to do that, then you go to Dr. Phil and you say, psychologically, it's not the right <laughs> thing. I should be able to keep one. She should be able to... 